at least 50% of the keyframes in your After Effects timeline are unnecessary and I'm going to prove it to you. In this video I'll show you 3 expressions I'm using to save hundreds of hours on keyframing and revisions. And you don't need any coding knowledge because you can just copy them from the link in the description. But first you need to know how they work, so first up is automatic fade in and fade out. If we make our layer shorter or longer, it will still have that nice in and out animation. And no, this doesn't have to be opacity, it can be any other property, effect or text animator you can think of. Simply add sliders for fade duration, zero value and final value. And two checkbox controls for enabling fade in and fade out. Add this expression to a desired property and that's it. Fully responsive animation without having to move a bunch of keyframes back and forth. It's especially handy in After Effects templates, mogurts and video automation where manual tweaks are simply not possible. This one definitely underrated. Every moving layer has speed and velocity. Speed how fast it's moving, velocity how fast and in which direction. You can use these values to trigger effects, adjust motion or create responsive animations, pointers, particles or bend the objects. Take this pointer for example. It rotates according to its velocity, like a fighter jet adjusting mid-flight. Yes, you can do this with keyframes, but every time you want to change the timing or pointer's position, you'd need to adjust rotation as well. And if you haven't realized already, velocity has two dimensions, x and y, and it can go below zero depending on the direction of movement. Speed, on the other hand, is a single value and is always positive. Also, these values are usually quite large, so you'll often need to use linear to time remap them depending on the effect you want to achieve. And here's a little secret. You don't need to remember any of these expressions. Use plugins like KBar or Motion Tools Pro to assign them to buttons and apply with one click. The third expression that helped me eliminate countless keyframes and simplify revisions is trigger animation with markers. Here's how it works. Create a few keyframes and if you need to reuse them, you don't have to copy and paste. Just add this expression and whenever you add a marker, the animation will trigger. For anyone doing SAS animations, this is a game-changing discovery. Speaking from experience. Also, I lied. There are actually two more expressions I'm using to ditch a bunch of keyframes. One of them is dynamic drop shadow. What is that? You know how shadows and gradients add a whole different dimension to our animations. Well, we apply drop shadow with a bunch of expressions to any layer, then create a light source layer and the shadow reacts to its position. You can customize it, max distance, shadow color, opacity, etc. You can even go one step further and add a gradient ramp controlled by expression. Copy and paste these effects onto layers in your composition and you'll get realistic, controllable, 3D-like shadows and lighting. And I promise you this is the last one, dynamic number counter. Animate numbers from start to end over a set duration without keyframes. All you need are sliders for start value, end value, duration and number of decimals. And this expression applied to your text layer. If you want to go even further, add drop-down menus for currency symbols, percentages, millions, billions, etc. Don't worry, you can get all of these expressions from the link in the description, along with sliders and effects some of them require. You can also check out our library with over 100 different After Effects expressions for templates, automation and generally getting rid of keyframes to speed up your workflow.